Good morning. You guys, thank you so much for joining us. So today, if you guys are a part of our No Excuses in November challenge, today the challenge is this workout, squats and planks. Now, if you don't get through all the moves, it's okay, it still counts. So if you need to modify, just don't squat as deep. Or we're also gonna use paper plates. If you don't have a paper plate or something to slide on, I'll show you how to do that exercise too. Um, Judy will be modifying. Judy, I have Carrie with me. You guys, and we're here to bring you a squats and plank workout. You guys ready? So this is about 15 minutes or less. Okay, we're gonna start out with a regular squat. So good morning. And Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ. Today at our Fit Camp, the word for the day is we can do hard things through Christ. So get your butt off the couch or the bed, I guess it'd be bed. All right now, let's move. Okay, 45 seconds, we're just gonna squat. To modify as well, you can go slower. You guys, stay where you are. So you're gonna sit your buns back. Hands on the thighs, you take your feet a little bit wider sometimes. That helps to give a wide base. Sit in your heels, that's another tip. So if you have knee issues, you wanna put your weight in your heels and activate your buns and your hamstrings. All right, so every exercise is 45 seconds. At any time as well, if you wanna make it harder, just go faster. Go bigger range of motion. Good, down and up. And we'll just stretch it out. Our next one is gonna be a side to side squat. So we're gonna step out this way, step in, that way, and in. Get ready in three seconds. And we go. Now we're gonna add an arm reach. If you want, you can take your hands back to your thighs. Keep your back strong and straight. Stay where you are. So we go side to side. How you doing, girls? Great. Down and up. You want to center out your weight at the bottom. So equal weight. Can you go a little bit deeper? Load up your thighs, so your quads, your hamstrings. You can feel your inner and outer thighs stabilizing. So our knees aren't rolling in. Press to the center of the shoe, especially through that heel. All right, nice. Now we're gonna grab our paper plates. If you do not have a slippery surface or you just don't wanna use the plate, you're gonna take one leg out and you're gonna sit back. So you'll again sit back. This does assist. So all your weight obviously is on the solid foot, the standing foot. The foot that's solid on the floor. This one gives a nice stretch too for the inner thigh. So about 10% of your weight on your toe. You guys keep going. So remember, I could be right here if I don't want to use that slide. This really assists though, it's nice to use a slide, paper play or a dish rag or something like that. It really helps you to get that range of motion so you can push your buns back. Nice feet. All right, and we'll go to the other side. So how are you feeling this morning? Take a deep breath, renew your mind. Remember every day is a gift, our health is a gift from God. Let's go. We're being intentional to move our body because the body is a gift and it wants way too much control. So we need to take captive when the body wants to settle and sit. We need to move. We're made to move. And we have to do squats, getting out of a chair the rest of our life. So we want to strengthen these muscles. How you doing? Woo! Good, sit back. So to modify, you just don't go as deep, but still push your buttons back. Weight in your heel, and woo! All right, let's set that aside, out of the way. Nice girls, now stretch off anything that's tight. And we're gonna go into a squat alternating knee with a twist. I'm gonna take the fingertips to the forehead or to the side and twist, and twist. 
So equal weight, come up and twist. Now why don't I have my hands back here? Well, you can, but I don't want to encourage pulling on the neck, straining the neck. So by just having the fingertips touching the head, it helps to eliminate that urge to pull on the neck. Down. Down. Nice. Heart rate is picking up. So I want you to think of muscle. So you load, come up and push. You can go faster than us. Can you go a little deeper? All right, nice. We're gonna grab the plate again. Now, if you don't want to use the plates, you're going to take it into a split lunge or split squat. See how the front knee doesn't go past the toe? So you're going to go straight down. We're going to take it here and slide back. We're going to slide back. Good. So, Judy, you're just going to hold it right here. Your feet stay static. Good. How's that feel, okay? Now, modifying as well, you could use the plates and you just don't slide down as far. We're going pretty deep in that range of motion. Really firing that front glute. Woo, one more. No, keep going, keep going. Almost there. A little more. All right. Woo, nice. How are you doing? Let us know that you worked out with us. And by the way, you guys, if you want to enter in the, in the drawing, be sure you share the post as well. All right, here we go. So now other side. Keep your abdominals tight, your chest lifted. Nice. So again, you have that split squat option. Press through that heel. This is a great lower body, just, you know, it's just like a little touch up for the lower body. Good, and up. No excuses in November. Come on, this is our Thanksgiving challenge. We have so much to be thankful for. All right, put that out of the way. And we are almost there with our squats. Yes. Yes. So we're going to squat, abduct, squat, abduct. Take the leg away from the midline of the body. So we're going to push down, up. Now if you can, you can bring your elbows toward your thighs. But if you do that, if you choose to do that, keep your back lengthened. So let me show you. So no rounding like that. No rounding. You want to keep your Chest tall. Down. Push your leg away like you're lengthening, reaching so you have some resistance. Imagine an ankle weight, a light ankle weight, and you have to really push. So you squat. Go within your range of motion. Give me one more. Nice. Good job, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Okay, we have one more squat. Sumo. Pulse. Now, if you notice, we took our feet wide. So we're not here. This one is somewhat acceptable because the knees aren't going past the toes. I'd rather you take it a little wider. Press through your heels. Activate your inner thighs and your buns. And we're going to pulse it all the way through. Come on, you can do hard things. You can do it. Give me your best, your best. If you have to come up a second, you guys stay low. It's okay, then get right back in. Come on, now let's do that little march. Oh, that's not nicer. I thought I'd be nice. It's not nicer. Oh, Woo! that's nice. Woo! Okay, we are going to our planks. I'm gonna pause this a second. Grab a little bit of water. Sorry about that if there was a glitch. The Wi-Fi, grab a little water real quick. 
You guys are doing great. Thank you so much, girls. That's good. You. Okay. So now we are going to grab our mat. If you do, you know, just have sometimes at home on the carpet, you might put a towel or something. So if you don't have a hard surface, you don't have to have a mat. I'm going to change the time to 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest. Woo, heart rate should be up. What's nice is that just these little mini workouts really add up and make it such a difference. I just encourage us all keep moving throughout the day. You know, set a goal on your watch. Every hour tells you to get up and walk around. We don't want the sitting disease. Gotta get moving, keep your body moving, keep that blood flowing. Okay, we're gonna start out with a plank. To modify Judy, I'm gonna have you turn this way. Okay, are you in there? Yeah. Okay, so Judy's gonna be showing modification on her knees, and thank you, Judy, for helping with that. So, here we go. Hands underneath the shoulders. Now you can come up to a full plank or on the knees. Now, we're not looking at our legs. That's a big tip. You don't want to look down. You don't want to encourage bad posture. So chin is out just a little bit. You're looking maybe six inches in front of you on the floor. Woo, how are you feeling, Dee? Oh, good. <laughs> we already really worked our core in a kickboxing workout, so. Our core is feeling it. Okay, next, we're gonna come into a side plank. So Judy's gonna be stacked with her knees, elbow underneath. We're gonna scissor or stack. Woo, so shoulders stacked, hips stacked, and let's hold it up. Lift those hips just a little higher. Stay strong, this is great shoulder work as well. Eight seconds. Now that option, there, it's definitely optional if you want to raise the arm or not. And great. Side planks are awesome to help build strength and stability along the lateral side of the spine and also the hip. Here we go, other side. Woo. Lift those hips. So they want to do this. Lift them up. Work within your range of motion. And then 1% out of your comfort zone. Ride that comfort zone. So you're not in pain, not bad pain, but you're not comfortable either. It's a challenge, no challenge, no change. So make it work for you. And whoo. All right, now we're gonna go into a plank on our elbows. So Judy's gonna show this on her knees. All right, let's go. Let's just focus on our breathing. Are you shaking? Yep. Me too. So it is working. All those muscle fibers are twitching, trying to keep us stable. Abdominals tight. All right, rest. Okay, next. We are going to go into a full plank and bring the knee in. We're gonna alternate. Come on. Yeah. Bring your knee in as far as you comfortably can. Again, remember you're, walk, you're riding that comfort zone. Elbows aren't locked, but your arms are nice and straight. Work in your chest and triceps too. Lots of shoulder work as well. All right, now we have one more. We're just gonna do Superman because if you want strong abdominals, you need a strong lower back. We work that with the squats, but now let's isolate and lift. Lift. Up. To modify, you can keep your toes down and just the upper, or keep your upper down and just the lower, but squeeze your buns. Lengthen, really feel this in 
the low back. We are so close to the end. And we finished. Nice girls, woo! I hope you guys are still with us. I see that it's trying to connect on Facebook, so sorry if, I don't know if you can hear me or not, but hopefully you're still with us. Okay, there we go, we're back on. Okay, give me a cat stretch. So you guys remember to enter the No Excuses in November Challenge with free weekly prizes. Be sure that you comment, you like, comment on this post, share it, you have to share it. Just do a little pigeon stretch. And we want to know that you guys are working out with us. We are thankful for you. We wouldn't be here without you. So thank you so much. Remember, exercise is a gift. Every day is a gift. You're going to have such a better quality of day whenever you put Jesus at the center and get moving your body. So important for our mental health as well. All right. Stretch the hamstrings real quick. Karen and Judy, thank you guys so much for joining us too. You guys have a great day and come back tomorrow. Actually, I'll post it at 8 o'clock tonight, Central Time, uh, the challenge for tomorrow. So see you guys. Thank you. Have a great day.